Welcome students, we have been given this question. We are asked to find the value of x. Now clearly you can see this is a nested radical. Now this is popularly known as Ramanujan's nested radical. Now you have to know something about Mr. Ramanujan. Mr. Ramanujan did not get the recognition that he should have got. He is known for his, this prodigic nature of proposing things out of the blue. He would just walk into a room and then he would see the guests and then he would bring out a, a numerical inferences of the number of guests who are stationed there or propose some things connected you know to numbers specifically more so towards the numbers and on one particular occasion it was said that there was a gathering and one particular popular mathematician he stands up and he makes a statement he proposes saying that the most complicated of all operations is the nested radicals and it is highly unlikely that you have a number on which you carry out nested radical operations and that number would still remain a rational component or a rational number. Immediately Ramanujan laughed and said, no, that is not so. He said that there are always possibilities and you perform a nested operations and still you can get a whole number. And he, out of the blue, he just proposed to this particular uh, nested radical. And then he said that the solution for this is equal to 3 and it got everybody was surprised because you can see that this is actually moving towards infinity it's actually an infinitely nested radical and they asked Ramanujan how was he able to show it and how could you show it that the, the value is equal to 3 and he did show it that the value is equal to 3 now what we are going to do is we will try to show the value to be 3 by two different ways. One is by technique of uh, placing the value and deducting it and the next is using algebra to show that definitely the outcome is has to be 3. So you can clearly see that at the very side we would really wonder that this is going to end or what because it's infinitely nested. Okay, so so much so for the introduction about Ramanujan and his uh, venturous lives. Let us try to obtain the value for this particular nested radical. So, according to the claim, the value is going to be 3. Now, let us start off with this 3. And we all know the value of 3 can be obtained by taking the square root of 9. This is a possibility. So root of 9 gives me the value 3. Of course, uh, we are only talking about the positive side. And let us limit ourselves to that unidirectional aspect of obtaining 3. So root of 9 gives me 3. But I can very well write 9 as square root of 1, positive 8. Now I'm trying to produce this pattern. Now I got an 8 here. I can write 8 as... 2 times 4. So I got a 2 here and I got a 4 here. So I got a 2 and a 2. Now I need to write this 4 in such a way that I am able to produce this pattern. But we should not be easily misled to write 4 as 1 positive 3. Don't do that. Now what I am going to do is I am going to write 4 as root of 16. So now 16 is present here. Let me write 16 as root of 1 positive 15. So now I have a 1 here and a 1 over there. They both match up. Now I got a 15 and I need to produce a 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 15 as 3 times 5. So now I got a 3 here which is very much synonymous to the 3 there. So now proceeding forward I want to rewrite 5 as root of 25. So this root of 25 will give me 5. Now I need to suitably split 25 so that I get a 4 and a 1 before that. So how am I going to do that? So that is achieved 
in this following fashion. So I've got a one year, and then I got a two, and a root of one, and a three, and a root of twenty-five. Now, how do I write twenty-five? I need to get. I need to produce a, a four there. So I'm going to write twenty-five as one positive twenty-four. So I hope I hope you're you're able to follow the pattern that is being present here. So clearly you can see that the four is almost visible now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this again as one positive two times root of one. Positive three times root of one positive twenty-four. I can write twenty-four as four times of six. So I am able to produce this four here, and there is a six. So I need to split the six now. So I'm going to rewrite this as two times of root of one positive three times root of one positive four times six. I can write six as root of thirty-six. Now I need to have a five there, so let me proceed on. I'm going to write this as one positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of. Now this thirty-six, I can write thirty-six as one positive thirty-five. Right, moving on. This is going to be equal to one positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of one positive. Let me write thirty-five as five times on three times. It's going to be five times seven. So five times seven gives me thirty-five. So this is what I've got. So let me continue on. This is going to be one positive two times root of one positive three times. Root of one positive four times root of one one positive five seven is root of forty nine. So I got a perfect square and a perfect square and a and the perfect square. So it it so whenever I'm able to set up the pattern, I would have a perfect square. So let me proceed on. So this is equal to root of. One positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of one positive five times. Now I get a root of forty nine. So I'm going to write fourteen.、Uh, I need to split that forty nine, right? So I'm going to write forty nine as one positive forty eight, right? So. Let me just go on still further. So it's going to be one positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of one positive five times root of one positive forty-eight. I'm going to rewrite it as six times eight is forty-eight. Six eighths of forty-eight. Right. This is what I've got. So I've got a five year. I got a six year. So I want to write this. One more time. One positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of one positive five times root of one positive six times. Now this is going to be root of sixty four. Root of sixty four will give me eight. Now just take this and you compare it with the original one. You see that. One positive two times root of one positive three times root of one positive four times root of, and so on it goes. We can actually go on. We can actually go on, proceeding on and on. So clearly, you can see we are having a nested radical starting from three, and we can still break it further. Now the question comes: Is algebraically we will have to show that this is achievable, and that is the important aspect of. Proving that this entire nested radical leads to three, so that is the vital point, right? Of course, we can go on, but the question is how much further we can go on. So, if we can show by algebraically that we are in a position to actually show that incrementing the perfect square and then incrementing the term that is multiplied with the perfect square, 
still keeps the result intact that would be the end of the solution or end of the proof for this particular nested radical and that is what we are trying to do so for that let me consider a term of this fashion since i've got a one here i would like to have something of this fashion one positive x times of x positive 2 now what is this exactly this is going to be one positive x squared positive 2x and this is nothing but if I were to rewrite it as a perfect square, this is nothing but 1 positive x raised to the power of 2, right? Now, if I were to take the square root both sides, square root both sides, then I would have something of this fashion. 1 positive x times x positive 2 is equal to root of 1 positive x raised to the power of 2 is going to give me 1 positive x. Fair enough, right? Now, I am going to take x to be as x positive 1. I am incrementing. Now, the proof is done. If I am able to show, in spite of x being incremented, yet the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Alright, so let's try that. So we will have to go through a series of iteration to see the pattern. Now, once we are able to get the pattern, we can conclusively zero it in and say that the value for this nested radical is 3. So that is the idea of this particular proof. So I'm just going to take x is equal to x positive 1. So that would mean I can now rewrite this as root of 1 positive x is equal to x positive 1. So I'm going to write it as 1 positive x times of when I take this is going to be x positive 3. And on the right hand side, I am going to get, in, when I substitute x po positive 1, this is going to be 2 positive x. So this is what I am getting. So now I would like to go to the initial point and change it now to x positive 2. That's exactly what I am going to do. So if I were to take this as 1, I am going to take let x be equal to x positive 2 in 1. So that would mean I'm going to take root of 1 positive x positive 2 and this is going to be x positive 4 and x positive 2 would mean I have 3 positive x. So this is what I've got now. Now if I were to go one step further, let x be equal to x positive 3 in 1, I would now have 1 positive over here x positive 3 times x positive 5 is equal to x positive 3 means I will have 4 positive x so I can go on and on and on so you can clearly see I have a representation for x positive 2 I have a representation for x positive 3 I have a representation for x positive 4 if I were to continue I can clearly get a representation for 5 positive x 6 positive x, 7 positive x, 8 positive x and so on and so forth. But we don't have to do all that. All we need to do is to check for the pattern and that's exactly what we are going to do. Now, so from here, from 1, I got this 1 here. Let me just use this space here. From 1, I got root of 1 positive x of x positive 2. On the right side, I get 1 positive x. What I wish to do is, in place of x positive 2, I would like to replace this. So this is going to be root of 1 positive x times, in place of x positive 2, I'm going to replace this entire radical. So that is going to be root of 1 positive, 1 positive x times x positive 3 is equal to 1 positive x. Now, x positive 3, I got a representation for x positive 3. So, I'm going to use this over here. So, this is going to be root of 1 positive x times root of 1 positive 1 positive x times. So, this is root of 1 positive x positive 2 times x positive 4 is equal to 1 positive x right so you got a nested radical flowing now x positive 4 I got a representation for x positive 4 so let me write that 1 positive x times root of 
one positive of one positive x times of one positive of x positive two times of in place of x positive four you'll be replacing this so it's going to be one positive x positive three times x positive five and on the right side you get one positive x and so on and so forth now the most important part that we have to observe here is if I were to take x is equal to 2 this is or this will produce the same nested radical that we have given in the or what has been proposed by Ramanujam so if I were to take x is equal to 2 it's going to be 2 times of 1 positive this is going to be 3 times of 1 positive 2 is going to be 4 times of 1 positive 5 times of 1 positive so it will go on like this and by taking x is equal to 2 this is going to be 1 positive 2 which is going to be equal to 3 and this is what the solution for this radical required so the underlying point is no matter how further you go no matter how further you take this nested radical the right side will always be 3 when you are using this deduction specifically when you're taking x is equal to x positive 1 because this entire this entire radical, uh, nested radical that you're talking here about is based on, is based on this concept. This is what this entire radical is based on. This entire radical that is being formed here is based on one particular aspect. What is that aspect? If you were to take the perfect square, and you increment it and then you take a product multiple with the incremented value and then the outcome of this will always be 3. So students, thank you so much. Have a nice night.